Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio. And today I'd like to share with you how to create that shape into logo morphing effect in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now, we're on the edit page and I'm gonna start by dragging here a new fusion composition in my timeline and now we can move over to fusion. To do this effect, we're gonna work with vector. So for the logo, we're gonna need to have a SVG file and not a PNG file. Very briefly, if you don't know what a SVG file is, it's just a vector file that have individual points that you can modify to alter the image. Contrary to a PNG that is just a fixed image, there is really little that you can do to alter that image. Right now as a logo, I'm just gonna use a camera icon, but again, feel free to use whatever you like. I'm gonna get this icon from SVG Repo, which is a website that provides free SVG. I'm just gonna download this camera right there. I'll put the link to this website in the description below. Now we're just going to, need to make a quick conversion on that SVG file to not run into problem down the line in DaVinci Resolve. So we're going to go to another website called Vector. It's a free website that you can use. Again, I will put the link in the description below. Here I'm just going to create a new artwork and we're just going to change here the size. So we're going to do 1920. And here I'm just going to bring the link because we don't want that to be the same value. And here 1080. We're basically creating just a HD canvas. I'm just going to rename it camera. And now we're just going to create that canvas. Now let's just bring our SVG inside it. Why we're doing this and why this step is important is that here right now, if we were to just import the SVG, that will be our frame. Meaning that basically when we're gonna start to try to morph outside of that frame, we're just gonna have issue here with the border of the frame. So we need to expand that frame to something bigger. So now we'll be able to just modify it uh, and have just a lot more room here to play around and morph it. So right now I'm just gonna place it at the center of my canvas and now we can just click right there to export it. Now we're just gonna click download and we're ready to go. Once you're back in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna start by bringing here a new background and we're gonna link the output of that background to the media out. Now with still that background selected, we're gonna here click on the polygon tool and it's just gonna create a mask above that background. Here I'm gonna go to the center, right click on it. We're gonna just scroll down to polyline, then create and here we're just gonna create a rectangle. That's gonna be our starting point to morph that rectangle into our logo. If you want to start with a circle, you can just select ellipse. Right now, I'm just gonna go with rectangle, click OK. Why I'm doing this instead of using just a simple rectangle right here is that now I have just individual control over the point of that square and it's just easy to transform it as I want. You'll see down the line why we need to be able to do that. It's the same reason as the logo, okay? So just to create that morph effect. Now I'm gonna import my SVG. To do that, I'm gonna go over to Fusion here import svg and i'm just going to bring my file over here again very important that we have something that is hd or 4k in terms of resolution so don't skip on the conversion part and now we have our camera i'm going to select my background it's shift space on my keyboard and we're going to search for a dissolve node and bring that in now i'm going to link the output of my camera to the green arrow which is my foreground and now we have both elements. What the dissolve gonna do is here, as you can see, if I just move around the side of background, foreground, once keyframe, it's gonna help us to do a fade in transition between the two. That's gonna be the base to create that morph effect. Right now, I'm just gonna go around the middle just to be able to see the shape and the logo at the same time. And here I'm gonna click on the camera, hit shift space on my keyboard, search for transform and bring the transform node. I'm gonna match the size and position of the logo to the shape. So here I'm just gonna make it a tiny bit bigger. Perfect, now I'm gonna click on my dissolve, hit shift space on my keyboard again, and I'm gonna bring a second transform node. I'm gonna bring down the size of the two, move it to the side, and here we're just gonna create a simple movement animation. I'm gonna go to frame zero, drop a keyframe here on the center, and then go to frame 24 and move over that to the right. Now I'm gonna open my spline editor, select transform, Zoom to fit, select my two point, hit S on my keyboard to smooth out that curve, then hit T to bring the ease in and ease out parameter. And here I'm just gonna change the ease out to 85. As you can see, it adjusts the curve and now it changed the dynamic of our animation. Now I'm just gonna look for the moment where the animation is halfway done. So here I'm gonna go to frame 16. I'm gonna click on my dissolve, bring the background down to zero, drop a keyframe, then go to frame 18 and I'm gonna bring my background foreground up to one. Now if we play it, as you can see that fade in just create that change of shape, which is already good on its own and you could add motion blur to it. So in case you didn't add here, for example, a vector and you work only with a PNG, what you could do if that's all you got is here, select your transform, go over to settings, select motion blur, bring the quality up to 10, bring the shutter angle to the maximum. And now if we play it, 
you get that change of shape but it's not really morphing that's more a change again but if you don't have a svg and only a png that's what you could do right now though let's just bring it a step farther and create that morphing effect i'm just going to deactivate my blur because it's quite taxing on the system so now to do that morphing effect i'm just going to go to my polygon go to frame zero and drop a keyframe on the shape animation now i'm just going to go back to the frame 17 then i'm just going to select all my point hit shift s on my keyboard to just smooth those lines and then i'm just going to click somewhere else uh, just to unselect and i'm just going to select each point one by one and move them around the logo so here for example the second one same i could adjust those angles so for example we need to take into account that the movement is going from left to right so we want to take into account this when we're just modifying the shape kind of like if it were fluid moving into space so here i'm just going to make one point dragging along a little bit and make this a bit more curve i'll just play a bit around and here i just get the shape that i'm happy with and as you can see if i play it we get that morphing happening where the square is just changing shape with the movement that's nice but we're just going to need to repeat the exact same process here with the camera so we're going to go to frame 24 we're just going to double clip here on all group and here as you can see we have different polygon that represent different elements of the camera i have the base of the camera right here then i have this circle and we're just going to try to animate each of those to get the best results so i'm going to select each of them here at frame 24 and drop a keyframe on shape animation here i'm just going to repeat that process for all of them And then we can go back to frame 17 and we're going to match the shape of the logo to the morphing shape. So here I'm going to select the first one, which is the base of the camera. And I'm just going to select all the point, hit shift S on my keyboard, and we're going to start to just move those points around. Now you don't have to make it perfect. It's just going to be hidden with some motion blur and the movement itself. Now we're going to do the same thing here for this little square. And here again, the same thing for the circle. So I'm just going to move it one by one. Perfect, let's play it. Cool, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, if you want, you can smooth out the curve. I will be happy with that result overall. But here, let's try to smooth those curves. So I'm going to unselect the transform and select the dissolve. So we just have the polygon and the camera. We're just going to select all two points. Hit S on our keyboard. Here I think it's fine, but I would like the morphing to start maybe a bit after and to end a bit before. So maybe ending at frame 22 and starting maybe at frame six. To do those adjustments, I'm just gonna quit the spline and then I'm just gonna open the keyframe window. Now I'm gonna open the polygon. Here I'm just gonna select my first keyframe and drag it to frame six. I'm gonna do the same process with the camera here. I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna go at frame 22. Here I'm gonna select all my last point and I'm just gonna move them backward. Another animation is done at frame 22 instead of 24. So this is how you can move your keyframe around if you're not happy with the timing. Let me know if you would like me to expand on this on another video in the future. But that's pretty much it. That's how to do that logo morphing effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let me know in a comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transitions, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles created from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.